with Santa Blanca winning the prize of the world's most successful criminal organization. It's inevitable they have one of the most sophisticated smuggling networks we've ever tried to break. And it's not just narcotics. They smuggle cars, guns, humans, phones, even animals. Ask any hustler on the street, and he'll tell you there's one Mr. Big behind the whole network. A mastermind known affectionately as El Invisible. No one knows his name. No one knows what he looks like. No one knows where he operates from. We had nothing. Until last week, that is. When we picked up a hacker on our most wanted list, Carlos Reguillo. Of course, this black hat didn't like the idea of 30 years sewing mailbags, so started to talk. He tells us that recently, Santa Blanca brought him a PDA to enhance. And while doing this, Reguillo finds it's loaded with every detail of their entire smuggling operation. We believe that operating with just this device and working alone is how El Invisible remains invisible. So, the CIA have been presented with a MacGuffin we can't just ignore. We need that PDA found along with its owner. We've thousands of suspects, but without some kind of name, a physical description, and a recent location, it's impossible for us to focus on any one person. What I can offer is somewhere to start your hunt. Three powerful individuals and their organizations who have had contact with this mysterious smuggling kingpin. Infiltrate the inner circle of these men and get us the information we need. knew El Invisible as a boy. If you can impress him and his crew of adrenaline junkies, I'm sure they'll make you an honorary kamikaze and start telling you their secrets. Hey, friendo. I thank you for coming. I hear many good things about you. You some hotshot American gun for hire, looking for the action, right? Ha. And guess what? Eddie likes guns. And Eddie likes to hire the mostly the putas, of course. But I think maybe we could have some fun together after you show me just how crazy you are. Uh, have you heard of Los Sin Alma? bunch of badass gangsters with camps all over the place. I send these idiots some explosives as gifts. 
What they do not know is that you are going to drive this big ass truck here into their stupid camps and explode these gifts, Trojan horse style. You make some fucking noise and chaos for me, and then we get down to some serious business. Okay, boy.
This is the world today. Everybody likes to watch those who have the good life, who have the freedom. People say I was born in a golden cradle, that I am a brute, that I am a clown. But I am also a mentor. I show people how to live life to the full. Always go on there. Risk everything. Do all the things they say you cannot do. No one is born complete. You gotta become who you are. If you don't burn out at the end of every day, you are a bum. Yes, Eddie Escovado, folks, the self-confessed playboy, reality TV star, and extreme sports fanatic, now has 70 million followers. I am bigger than the Pope. More talented than Amadeus Mozart. I got more wisdom than Gandhi. I am 50% more influential than any human being ever for the next thousand years. Eddie Escovado wants you to bring his favorite telenovela actress to a party he's planning. You'll have to play along for now. A cargo of Eddie's drugs is arriving. He wants you to protect it. It'll be a good opportunity to document the cartel's trading routes. two new SAM sites on the helicopter's path. Destroy them before they bring down any bird.
Frag out. I got guns. Where are we were flying the drugs. Had two whirly birds on our tail. Had no choice. I took the cargo. One bird stopped to pick it up. The other followed us. Now only Santa Muerte knows where any fucking steak is at. Download stopped. Yes, I remember that party. We had just raided the big house of drug lord Mamolini. And we took everything. Money, drugs, very, very nice suits. Huh? I still have one of those suits. I like to wear it. I can't catch oh, the stream. Yeah,
one hell of a firefight going on. Eddie's drugs are on the chopper. Help Santa Blanca or Nopa get them out of there. to land this broken bird in one piece. Without his drugs, Escovado's gonna be one cold turkey who won't be inviting you to Thanksgiving. Don't kill us, it'll make us stronger. If we make it, the drinks are on me. It's the air, too damp. You see what it does to my hair? It is making my teeth rattle. Second law of thermodynamics. Everything is always breaking down. Well, at least we'll die having some fun. This is making my teeth rattle. Escovado wants you to bring his favorite telenovela actress to a party he's planning. You'll have to play along for now. Nada que reportar por el momento. Continuamos con la búsqueda de los enemigos.
more famous than the Statue of Liberty? Has more money than a pharaoh and bigger eggs than an ostrich? Fucking me, yes? Now, Frendo, I need your help. Party is ready to go, but some asshole has kidnapped my special guest. She is the famous actress from TV, Mia Valera. Perhaps you have seen her? Sophie's the Tation is her middle fucking name. Actually, her middle name is Terry. Anyway, this kidnapper, his name is Rolando. He got picked up by Unidad, but tells them he knows nothing and they let him go. You got to grab that son of a bitch for me, friend, or find out where he is taking my delicious fresa. Do it for Eddie, will you? I will make you my BFF. I'm texting you the coordinates of where Orlando was last seen. Big pecs, glam girls, fast cars, typical Harvard graduate. That's gotta be Romando. Stop the car and let that slime ball know just how important it is for you to find Escobar's lady friend. Okay, shitbird. Tell me where the lady is or say hello to agonizing pain. What the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just an innocent nobody. The actress from TV, Mia Valera, a show called Paradise Street. Where is she? Fuck, I don't watch that stupid telenovela. I mean, just leave me alone. I have to get home to take my pills. I have a weak heart, you know? I'm very sensitive to shocks and jumps and falls, especially. A weak heart? Sensitive to shocks? It's time we went. the cats, find the mouse. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Sniper, top of the tower.
Got eyes on a mounted weapon. Sniper in the tower. Spotting another tango. A baby makes three. Got a target carrying submachine guns. That makes five. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Target spotted. There's another one. That's ten. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Sniper out there. Sniper on that roof. Fifteen. Just spotted one with submachine guns. on a mounted weapon. One more word out of you, I am going to rip out your tongue and use it for a doorstop! You want me to stop talking, asshole? Let me out of this place! I'll do it. I don't care how fucking famous you are. You had better care. Soon as I am out of here, I will call a friend who will find you and get to work on you with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch! Shut the fuck up!
police. Eddie sent me. You against all these punks? Those are the kind of odds that appeal to any sense of stupidity. Of course, Mr. Escobado is not here himself. Oh, no. The fathead is likely stumbling around a Ciudadela trying to persuade some poor to give him a booty bump. If he thinks I'm going to his stupid pool party after this, he can think again. I don't care what arrangement his fucking management has with my agent. Nothing is worth this. I am Avis, and I will not associate with his low-life criminal friends anymore, no matter how famous he becomes. 70 million followers do not give a man class. Diamond watches and pink sports cars do not give a man class. Dinner at La Delicadeza and holidays in Europe do not give a man class. Class is about taste and style and appreciating the high fucking culture. And do you think there will be any high culture at this party? Oh, it will be bimbos in bikinis and stubbly adrenaline junkies who think a Picasso is a car and Garcia Marquez is a fucking boxer. It was the same at the last party they make me go to. And the one before that. Well, I am finished with these dirty discos and the scandal that is always following them. If Eddie really wants to be my friend, he must start acting like a grown-up and put away his childish toys. I mean those dumb guns of his. You know, with all that money, he should be trying to achieve world peace. Or at least setting up charity. I thank you with all my heart, friend -o. Mia will be my magnet for many other pretty starlets. She is the appetizer. Once we are swinging, this party is going to have more celebrity pussy than a feline beauty pageant. The internet superhighway will be jammed with Eddie's personal fucking traffic. Later, alligator. Eddie's party's on its way. Go see what you can find there. Don't drink and drive. Wait, wait! Quiet down, you fox! I'm on the phone to my body! Fredo, why aren't you here? Don't you know me anymore? Oh my god. I forgot to invite you. Dummy! I'll call me a pencil dick, but how am I supposed to remember these things? Just get that overtone backside of yours over here. I have to talk to you urgently about donkeys. Fuck, friendo! Where the hell have you been? You gotta help me. There's a roach at this party. A big fucking roach. He come looking for the drugs, and only that roach. You know I got some badass friends, but it is me he is after. Now hurry. Go see my body, Senor Sorisa. He will know how to catch this stinking insect. You can find him easily. He likes to whistle. Too much, I think. Now hurry. I'm losing my mind here. I get that tune stuck in my head, I'm gonna get mad. Ah, gringo. It is good to see you. I'm not a party kind of guy. Instead, I've been inspecting these fish. You know people think fish are stupid, but many fish are clever. You know there is one that likes to play dead to avoid attack. We should all try that sometime, huh? <laughs> oh, but you want to know about the Unidad spy, yes? I've heard that he's dressed like a guard. That is all I know. Oh, and you should keep your ears open. These yes. Unidad idiots always give themselves away. This place is a cesspool. After we kill Escobado, I'm going to slaughter all of these other filthy degenerates too. Just make sure it is me who shoots the dumb pipe, not some new recruit. Then I will be famous too. Reality TV star? <laughs> We will see what he knows of reality when I put a bullet in his brain.
Scanning. My fucking ratings are down. This complex is getting repetitious. We need to get out of here, friendo. How about we take this party down to the beach? You can kill the roaches and pour the drinks. And I will try on my new mankini. We've tapped into Unidad comms. Holy macaroni, they're on edge. Try to protect this inebriated asshole the best you can and drive fast. Junkie who gets beaten to death. We swelled up in the size of a very large security. Dr. Bowman would put it in an ice bowl. Strange thing is, I'm starting to like this guy. No, really, I do. I love you, dude. Happen if I stabbed him with a pencil. The aliens are being here, I tell you, friend. Who do you think you get the cheese? Do what you want. We're not gonna crash. Talk to me, not the rabbit, okay? You don't the stretch. New drugs, kids. I took the blue pill and then the green. And finally, I took the big one. Whatever shit you pull, we're still gonna get there. Perhaps one day I will be first. I don't know much about politics, but I do know about the war on drugs, and I certainly do not tell you. I had a mosquito bite on my butt that was less irritating. Okay, okay, friendo. We are doing better with the likes. I can feel the love coming back to me. No more are they saying, hey, two spiegel you male chicken They are saying, you are an inspiration, eh? So now I know who's called, who is just for play. Life is like an echo. You get what you give. A horse walks into a barn. The barman says, Why the big barn? Hey, buddy, keep going till you okay, overdose, okay. huh? Who is this? Are you talking to me? A horse Life walks is into full a of challenges. The barman Spending says, time with this nut the is one of them. He will freeze my hand. Strange thing is, I'm starting to like this guy. So I said to him, Fernando, there is no such thing as big food. Hey, Bozo, keep your hands to yourself. 
I took the blue pill and then the green. And finally, I took the big one. Or was it you? What would happen if I stabbed him with a pencil? shit you pull we're still gonna get there the aliens are beat here i tell you friend don't do the cheese don't do drugs kids okay okay who is this are you talking to me life is full of challenges spending time with this nut is one of them Size of a bit. You're the one about the yes, junkie sir. who gets Come beaten on, to death it, with a it. large mallet? Hey. No! Look at you, too! They are Estamos everywhere! We're in contact with the enemy's enemies. All the units are in the formation of the enemy's enemies. Until Saturday is done. Wait, every day is Saturday for me. Fuck yes! I guess that means I will just go until I drop. Wait, what is that terrible noise? Oh, my cell phone. I got a call, Fredo. Private call. I will take it. You kick back, do some blow. I will see you later, alligator. Yeah, in a while, crocodile. This guy's on an eternal spring break. What a clown.
surface-to-air missile launchers? Fucking awesome, yes? But they ain't your friends, buddy. Destroy those bitches, or they will destroy you. Gingang, gully, 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 gully. We're close to getting the information we need. Fuel the plane for Eddie, and I got a feeling he'll soon be spilling the beans. Frag out, get some. Frag out. Una explosión ha sido detectada. A todas las unidades concentren la búsqueda en este sector. I got the C4 primed. Demo is primed and in place. Demo's primed. I got the C4 primed. Got eyes on an air defense system. The demo's primed. Mortar support. If you need a shoulder to lean on.
I gotta get high any way I can. Every way I can. Quick as I can. Understood. Fire for effect only. Out. me now i have stayed twice as long as my contract said i should well, that is because you love eddie yes and so i shall but first i have an appointment with the big blue yonder up up and away okay friendo take me up to heaven and make me look good or you'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of hong kong You hear me? I don't fucking want it. We are being watched. Always we are being watched and listened to. We got to entertain. Give people novelty. Give them kindness. Give them cruelty. No prisoners. Past, present, and future. They are all one up here. I remember being a boy. Playing on the streets of Chukwisaka with my second cousin. He's a big criminal now, known as El Invisible, but we just called him Samuro. He used to steal rings from sleeping drunks. You see, friendo, I come from great stock. The world will never forget Eduardo Escobado. Never, ever!
Good job, soldier. That information you got us will help narrow the field. But we're gonna need more details to actually identify El Invisible. Try approaching another of the individuals we vetted for you. Muy bonitos para la fiesta. Sí, estoy de acuerdo. Mañana nos vemos entonces, pero ten mucho cuidado. Ahorita todo está muy peligroso. You're in real Santo Marte territory now. Almost everyone you meet is under the good lady's spell. So presume Arturo already knows you're there. And remember, we've information that one of his drivers boasted that Arturo personally couriered a delivery for El Invisible two weeks ago. Try to find out where that package got sent. Arturo Ray is deluded and dangerous. Making him trust you will be a challenge. Go meet him at his hideout. Some biker joint with an unpronounceable name. Cousin, I am Arturo, leader of the Death Riders, and one of Santa Muerte's most humble servants. I know who you are, my friend. You have a reputation as a killer, a bringer of death who does not ask questions. I personally believe that the Holy Lady has sent you to us to help our cause. But first, I need you to demonstrate this wrath that brings you to such prominence. A rival organization, Los Sin Alma, has been causing us much trouble. It is time they were shown what happens to those without a soul. Take a vehicle, ride it to their camp and make a spectacular entrance. Like an angel of death descending upon filthy apostates. Once you have done that, execute every motherfucking last one of them. Second target, Tango number three. He makes five. I got a target carrying submachine guns, ten sighted. We're up to fifteen. It's twenty guys. Tango on the roof, Tango on the roof.
Mortar support. If you need a shoulder to lean on. machine gun. Santa Blanca commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this. If I had a dollar for every collectible behind a locked door... Someone must know the code, right? It's a quality bike. I'd start bending arms at the top of this pile of bandits and work your way down.
submachine guns. That guy looks like he knows his shaft drive from his throttle lock. Easy, come in. You should know. I don't speak to fucking gringos. I don't need your conversation. I need the code to the bike lockup. You want Arturo's bike? Ask the white lady. <laughs> I did. She said the number was the date you die. Today. No, please. Have a fucking bike. It is cursed, you know. Kill my fucking dog. Fell right on top of my poor doggy. The code, asshole? Uh, yes. The code is 4894. <laughs> Been wanting one of these. Locks aren't made for honest fingers. You have my motorcycle, cousin. You are a master appropriator. Please, take the machine to my bar.
<laughs> there is true darkness in your cousin. A black void that she shall soon inhabit. But go now, prophet. Go, preach the word of the skinny lady. Tell the world about her love for the poor, the beautiful and the wicked. I will contact you when she decides it. The good men. They say in life each of us is given a gift. A gift that must be revered. My gift is that I inspire fear. It is a special gift, and I use it to help many people. But they call me a sinner, a lost soul. Tell me that I am no good. So I start to doubt, and I start to judge, and soon I can arise above the judgment and doubt. I live. Cast out with other abandoned mortals. Mortals like you. I make enemies. People who don't like being afraid. And one day, on a cold dawn outside La Paz, they come. A car passes spitting bullets. Everybody fall down. Some dead, some not so lucky. But me, I am still standing, untouched. I look out into the morning mist, and there she is. Flaquita, holy death. Her bony finger pointing towards me. She let me live. I know it. She let me live to be her servant, her prophet, to walk amongst you sinners, you homeless, you abused and rejected, to teach you the lesson, the truth about death. So, I become her disciple. The elegant queen of the damned. She gives the Death Riders strength and prosperity and many new friends. For Santa Blanca, who respect fear and respect death, they respect those who can deliver these things too. So for them, we protect and we secure. We are trusted to do whatever it takes to get what they want. For the skinny one never judges you. As long as we pay what is due, as long as her thirst is quenched. For La Nina Blanca craves soft flesh, warm flesh, flesh that slices and rips and shreds. And we, we too must keep strong to quench her eternal thirst. We must also drink. <laughs> Arturo has something sinister in mind with his shipment. We need to know his plan. His twisted religiousness can be of use. Now you've met the lunatic. You better hear this. Several sources on the ground are reporting that Lord Arturo is planning an apocalyptic event for his cult. We don't know what, but there's indications it's going to be something pretty devastating. What we do know is that Arturo is about to go on a pilgrimage across the region from shrine to shrine. I suggest you learn the root of this tour and bug those altars. Listen in to what's being said while the followers are worshiping. We know which church Arturo uses as a base. I'll send you the coordinates. Their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal. Great, you got the route. Now get to those shrines before our leather clad evangelist does. Bug those ladies and listen out for idle gossip. The righteous man, the loyal man, they are not her brethren. 
but he's dead. They have the warmest blood and make the best servants. Now, on another matter. Could you point me to the toilet, please? Niña Blanca siempre. Death is life. Life is death. All who take her name must be prepared to give their life. Now or later, it does not matter. Her sight takes us all eventually. No one is innocent. Accommodation? Looks like it came from a box of cereal at the Air Force or something. I do not care. Men, women, and children. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Bring them all to the places we spoke of. Only she can judge me for what I will do. So if you look at me again like that, I will rip out your eyes and feed them to your daughter. close to some locals. Just spotted no one with submachine guns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hmm? 
Marking an enemy. Okay, we have a situation. Wherever you are now, you gotta get back to Arturo's church. There's an Unidad circus storming the grounds right now. They want His Majesty dead. We still need him alive. Got it. One hard-bitten trigger-happy mercenary to the rescue. Doctor, you come to assist me. I saw Santa Muerte in a dream. She said your house had bugs and you needed an exterminator. And avoid death. Watch as her servant does his work. This is the truth and the life. We give birth as stride the grave. to travel once around the body and just seconds for me to stop all your hearts beating. Arturo, 
The time has come for you to demonstrate the depth of your dedication to Santa Muerte. I ask for you to protect a special consignment for me. What this consignment is does not concern you. We shall just say that it is, uh, magic beams. <laughs> Two of my vehicles are on their way to our mountain base. But we have heard that they are in danger from government interference. Details of this plot you can learn from my man of secrets, Senor Sonrisa. Right now, he is at the dam. Fishing is his amusement. To find him, just listen for his whistling. <laughs> this guy couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. Yo soy de esos cabrones de los que hablan. No se me hicieron una gran cosa, la neta. Si le dijiste eso a su jeta, ya no está. ¿Para qué te haces? Eso de la chingada la coca últimamente. Yo te ah. digo la chingada, pero no te la puedo creer. Hola. Ah, Kringo, I am studying the red-bellied piranha, a small fish, but one that preys on fish many times larger than itself. A talent to be respected, I think. <laughs> but let me tell you about the threat to Arturo's trucks. I am told that Unidad are likely to ambush the consignments in the city of Barbechos. It is not too far from here. Look for troops gathering there. And don't worry, I am sure a trigger-happy mercenary like you should have no trouble stopping those idiots. Hasta la vista, big fish. Sí, a huevo, pero eso solo cubre la salpicadura de sangre, güey. No el pincho olor a puerco. stupidity. I'm close. Sounds like I'm late. I hate being late. One of the vans got through the ambush. You better go see what this operation's all about. You should know that nothing gets in my way. Whatever this 
Fan is carrying, Unidad doesn't want Arturo to have it. They're on high alert. Stop getting that van there, but let's face it, those magic beans aren't likely to be Zoya. We need you to take a closer look at just what's on board. They see me poking my nose inside. They'll cut it off. True, but the other van that got through the ambush, it just left. Get after it. Listen into their comms and find out what our tour is so desperate to protect. I tell you, idiot, ghosts do not exist. You see the video, yes? A ghost, plain as the nose on your face. Ha! <laughs> Why would a ghost be at a football game? He would let the ball go straight through him. So, what is it you are carrying this time? Oh, the same as you. They know tell me what I am carrying. Explosives on brain. For that crazy son of a bitch Arturo. What he is planning, I do not want to think. Some people think this whole Santa Muerte thing too seriously. We have a shrine in our house. I use this skull as an ashtray. <laughs> Be careful, she will put boils on your backside. I have those. They are very sore. There, I tell you, she sees everything. The boils are for disrespecting her skull. I also use one of her legs to unblock the toilet. Alvaro, for that she will take away a loved one. Evo died. Evo? Your parrot? Yes, I wake up yesterday. And she is stone dead at the bottom of her cage. Fuck. Maybe we should take Santa Muerte more seriously. I think we should. I've been hearing much talk recently that the end of the world is coming. I've heard that too. When the oil runs out, when the food runs out, when the water runs out, then we will all be praying to the skinny one. When the end of the world comes, I plan not to be at home. Well, you will be visiting your I'm mother, trying. yes? No. I don't like making assumptions, I will be but in I would say it's likely to be That is where I will live, apocalypse. with just the uh, penguin to we keep have you company here. I will eat the penguins, I will drink the ice water, I will use the trees for fuel. Alvaro, there are no trees in Antarctica. That is bullshit! Where do you think Christmas trees come from?
Arturo has started his own little apocalypse. Your cover should resist a blatant act of heroism. Rough up Arturo's lieutenant, and he should give you what you need. Shit. We've got a potential massacre on our hands. Find those bombs, and find them fast. He won't have planted them himself, so one of the cult members must know where they're all hidden. Yeah. Arturo's Guy Friday. Does everything except wipe his ass for him. He'll be at the bar. No one is born perfect, yes? You are not a complete item. But it is possible if you work hard to be the best. It is you who taught me this. So please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Time to leave, friend. Yeah, but take your filthy hands off me! Arturo wants a word. Says you've been using a Santa Muerte skull as an ashtray. That's bullshit! I don't even smoke! Oh, you will. When he burns you alive. I'll make this very simple for you. Tell me where you've hidden the bombs, or I will shoot you in the head. Fuck you, American Spy Dad! She's a friend of mine! True. So, uh, maybe I'll just keep jumping this vehicle till your brain rattles and your stomach turns inside out. Ah! Oh! I bit my tongue, you fucking fucker! I said them with the okay, okay, I'll tell you! Okay, there are five bombs. The city hall, the bank, one of our hideouts, a church, and a school. We have many civilians held at each place. They are to be our servants in the afterlife, but we have to guard it well. Arturo, he has recruited Santa Muerte disciples from Los Sinalma gang. Those motherfuckers are fucking psychopaths. I, I, I can't say anything. He killed me. Let me go. I'll leave the gang. It's just a phase. I'll be a teacher or some shit, I promise. Good job. We know where they are. Now get those bombs disposed of, or we have a lot of blood on our hands. Thank me. Thank Uncle Sam. I'll get my reward in heaven.
we're saving you folks, I expect at least the keys to the city. Stopping a bank from exploding? I must be crazy. Your actions have rallied most of the bikers to your cause. One can worship Lady Death without wanting to kill his own family, it seems. Arturo does not seem aware of this yet. Time to make your move. Costi, where are you? Where is my motorcycle? Now is not the time for apostasy. I need that chariot more than I need this filthy air I still breathe. The bombs, they will soon explode. I am here, waiting at the Church of the Redeemer Lady Death, ready to burn for all our sins. Please, cousin, hurry. Today must be the day I die. Unbending faith and unheralded violence. For my first holy assignment, I carry the coca face to the lab and paint my face in the blood of those whose throats I slit. For the last holy assignment, I deliver a package for the master himself, El Invisible, all the way to La Cruz. But now, my time with the riders of death is over. I, Arturo Rey, will become Lord of Hell. And my mistress will be White Lady herself. When my bombs explode, a hundred souls will step into the darkness, preparing the path that I will follow. Woe to the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for what his hands have dealt out shall be done to him. Whoever takes a pit will fall into it and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling.
Hey, bomb, stay silent. It is a sign. The white lady wishes me to come to her alone. But I need a servant in hell. You must come too! I don't travel well. Death will only make me stronger! Sacred Senora, I come to you! That dude's on fire. Well done, Ghost. Arturo's information is invaluable to us in finding El Invisible. We have our best analyst on the case. Also, congratulations on stopping a maniac. It's always a welcome bonus for us at the CIA. These are the killing fields of Mateos and friends. We have several sources claiming that this gangster recently chauffeured El Invisible to a funeral of a client. If this is true, Tonio might just be the only person to have laid eyes on our target for a very long time. Happy hunting. Mateos is not easily impressed. He wants you to do a job for him, and you can be sure it will be hella dangerous. Is that you, motherfucker? Because this is me, Tonio, telling you that I am P I double S E. You don't see how fuck you gonna be straying into my jungle. You want to stay alive? You better show you're worth it, bitch. I got some uncut ice taken away by some pony dad life. Get back that bag for me and then, Ace, maybe I'll think about not breaking your face. If I went to ask nicely, maybe they would just hand it over. Oh boy, he's a moron with the capital M. <laughs>
Frag out. Come mierda, culeros. Everyone wants to be a diamond. Not everyone can handle getting cut. But for me, you gotta burn up good in a CAR to go far. So I got you a whip to weep for, motherfucker. Get behind the wheel, then I tell you the deal. Drop the bag at these coordinates. You quick and I will think about not putting you in a hole, motherfucker. Mule with the motherfucking jewel in good time. Getting a chill from all that ice dog. You best place that crystal in the trash before you freeze. Si, estoy de acuerdo. Mañana nos vemos entonces. Yeah, you BAD, and that suits me. That car, you own it. Makes you jinetes locos to the bone. And this hood, motherfucker, is your hood. But listen good, because we got some hustlers trying to decree their own stake in our territory. Los Sin Alma, they name. Got the dope cars and planes. Make all the dumb kids want to wear their badge. Right here is a war of hearts and minds. So we got to show these fools we ain't fooling, we're ruling. I got you two jobs to be done. Go to the places I tell you when you want some fun, bitch. Anything you want, I got it. Any C.A.R. to go fast and far. Any wings or wheels you need for deals, you talk to me, Tonio. Me and my friends, we loco. But I ain't no city gangster. Kuroiko born and raised, my playground, you guessed? Yeah, that was the road of death. That's where I learn all the skills in automobiles. I buy the chuto, I sell the chuto, no one better. Jacking, cracking, rolling and balling, they ask for me, Antonio. Now I am K-I-N-G of all that you see. So don't mess with the best, we the crazy riders. We live the life and the life is death and your last breath, motherfucker. Try and take my crown, you gonna get put down. Your head filled with lead, face gone, name gone, never took part. All that's left, your mother's broken heart. <laughs> so come on, putos, try to take me out, because here I am, unforgiven, still living. This time, peace says fuck you. 
These calibers says fuck you. I go on and on till you all gone. So wake up, chicos. Stop getting high. Step over to my side or you will die. Kinetis locos got the riches, got the skills, got the bitches. We thugs, we grind, we 360 strong. has simple tastes, going fast, speed, performance with a sprinkle of bling. He has his eyes on a new toy he wants you to steal. Okay, motherfucker. It's time to show these seen Alma clowns who does the flying in this town. They got a plane like you never seen. Wings so mean makes all our dreams. Them bitches are flopped in an electro air race. But they got a whole lot of kites there, so best talk to the pilot. He tell you which is the lean machine. And don't fuck this up, dog. Remember, Tonio's got less compassion than the average human.
third law of motion. What goes up must come down. Nice work. Now get to that plane. Blue and yellow, right? Yeah. Like a parrot. Antonio is of the envious kind. He wants you to steal Los Alma's fastest car. Mouthing about that Sinal car like it's a fucking movie star. Keep it at a secret place they do, but I got word that one of their crew, he just flew his shit, tried to come sit with the locals, got caught and put in the pound. Now if this renegade ain't full of lies, he'll know where this automobile prize is at. You go talk to my man, Senor Sonrisa. He'll know where to find Mr. Defector. Listen out for his whistling, you dig? Then get me that motherfucking rig. Nice whistling, like a kettle. Hello to you, American. Do you like fishing? It is a pleasure like no other. It is meditation. It is isolation. But the part I like best is using small bait to hook the unsuspecting pescado. <laughs> Forgive me. But you wish to know about the man you are looking for. The defector is at Sinalma's mine camp. Now hurry. Or they will cut off his head and feed his brain to their children. It is what these faithless ones do. <laughs> this is the camp, all right. What we know is that the prisoner is being held underground.
awesome. I can put this to use. You're here to free me, yes? That's the plan. Then you must be with the law course. Right. I get you out. You tell me where I can find Sin Alma's mythical car. <laughs> you locos always want to know about the car. so much Fred I tell you about the car very super cool it is. always on the move but the last time I heard the vehicle was out near Scorpion Valley I wish you many success brother I'm so happy to join the locals but tell me please is it true you keep a donkey woman in one of your cellars yeah and a unicorn in one of our attics I expected at least a jet engine and rocket launchers. Well, it's time to make her mine and not put a scratch on her. You are giving me life, motherfucker. You are giving me life. With a little TLC, this whip will be the jewel in the Locos crown. You sure showed those fake-ass clowns what is real. That's why T-O-N-I-O -O ain't your foe, he your bro. And I won't forget you, yo. enough to get more street cred than a marijuana growing John Galt cosplayer at a libertarian convention. Tonio feels threatened by your influence and challenges you to a race to settle this in his defining style. Listen good soldier, we're getting information from the street that some of the Jinetes Locos used are now looking to you to be their new leader. Careful how you play this one. You bitch ass shit talking motherfucker. Chicos are saying it is you who got the better moves and guile and leader style. You forget that I am the K I N G, you just a wannabe. 
I rule cause every fool know I race the dope run, beating everyone like a bullet from a gun. I got a time that can't be beat, lest you cheat. You think you're all that? Let's joust, motherfucker. And in case you get lonely on the ride, I'll get my best boys to drive side by side. They will put you in your place, so when you're ready to race, show your face. This clown is giving me a headache. Get the info we need from him before my brain explodes. There's a truck loaded with Tonio's cars heading to the border of Malka. I guess that's where the race is supposed to start. You better take them out of the game before it begins, or you will be toast, my friend. Using a truckload of pimped out cars just ain't fair. I gotta even the odds. You got Tonio spooked. He doesn't trust his own gang now, all eyes are on you. He's also paid Unidad to escort those race cars who expect heavy opposition. Shitballs. I knew you dumb motherfucker, couldn't resist. See, Tonio is like heaven, everyone wants to get to him. Pity I lost my cars, but ain't no harm, you are still gonna get burned. You will last as long as an ice cube up your ass. You finished, fool. gets the more he talks. Gotta keep pushing his buttons. gonna shoot his mouth off. I 
get it on, you get it on with me and I will teach you respect. I will show you who the fuck you are dealing with. I am E-O-N-I-O. -O. You do not cross me, motherfucker. I grind for the best, like Mr. Invisible himself. Yeah, I bust them all over town. That is who you are dealing with, bitch. The boss is my dog. I take him to a funeral. Didn't show his face, but I know it was him. Had that tattoo on his leg, like people said. A rosebud for sure. I am real, a celebrity. You just some bitch ass gangbanger. Come with reputation, motherfucker. to think I can now you trying to take my crown. This here is my jungle. I own it all, bro. Me, Tonyo. I, the ace in this place, gonna get in your face like mates. You're gonna see me walk my talk, motherfucker. This mad dog don't ever let go. You're gonna pay in BL double OD. You're gonna get beat down. You're gonna get boned. You're gonna get burned. And when you dead, I'm gonna saw off your head. I'm gonna eat my instant old meal out of your motherfucking skull, yo. Congratulations. With all this information, the nickname, the tattoo, the region, only one individual remains on our list. We have found El Invisible. Mr. Zamuro is indeed based in the Cruz province. Go there. Find the target, obtain his PDA. And there's no need for formalities. This buzzard can live or die as far as we're concerned. A super blood moon, the egg of an elephant bird, conjoined twins, rare things certainly, but rarer still is a person who can find a man like me. So I congratulate you, mercenary. You are talented, an expert in slaughter, execution, assassination and destruction, proficient in espionage, pursuit and expose, and no less important, very, very good at making friends. Your references are impeccable. Before his glorious beatification, Eduardo spoke highly of your bravery. Despite Tonio's terrible temper, he respected your methods. And Arturo, the zealot himself, was impressed by your dedication. These men gave their opinions without threat or agenda. So you must come to work for me now, mercenary. The operations of Santa Blanca need persons who swim well in shark-infested waters. Of course, you must first demonstrate your sincerity by performing two assignments for me. Then we will know if you are truly a Calzón Tintano. <laughs> Wait patiently, colega. I will contact you soon. Please do not be alarmed. 
You are not required to die, only to make believe that you are dead. Your heroics have upset too many of my workers, and they call for your head. So it is best that you work as a ghost. First, you will need a corpse to act as your corpse. There is a Unidad commander on my payroll who is now asking for too much money. You will find him at the San Rodrigo Monastery. Do not delay. Work as a ghost? I like that. A ghost ghost. I got eyes on a sniper. Enemy spotted. No shortage of corpses around here. for not mean anything to you? I am Commander Jose Miguel Alberto Carrieri de Velasco Franco! I own this fucking place! I own you, whoever the fuck you are! You see that dead meat? Those are people I spare from the pain because they fell on their knees, begged for their lives, and wept. But you, you will be whipped, then I will personally cut off your fucking bolt, and I will not let you die. Oh no, I will keep you half alive in the cell where you will eat my sticking shit! You're dead, asshole. Deal with it.
hate to do this to you, Ghost, but we need you to stop. That car just popped up on our list of vehicles used on a people smuggling route. We need to know where it's been. There's a chopper waiting for you at the top of the hill to scan the GPS. It's a big ask, but drive like a pro, and you'll still have plenty of time before zero hour. Chopper and the car at all costs. With the GPS history, we can break the smuggling route and save a lot of lives. It's only the beginning.
Well done. This is the first time anyone has made contact with El Invisible. He has plans for you, and will certainly use you for some dastardly scheme of his. Play along. We'll get to him in time. Greetings, mercenario. It is time for a test. There is a man that you must kill for me. You will find him at Fulton House in the region of the Cruz. That is all you need to know. What is ready? Samuro is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Whatever he is, whoever he is, kill the target and don't ask questions. Enemy marked. Lieutenant marked. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got another. That's five. Sniper out there. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Ten sided. Escuche, movimiento, caray. Spotted one with submachine guns. Del enemigo en su última posición conocida, comenzando una nueva búsqueda. The target's gone. And I have a feeling Zemiro already knows this. 
The serpent has slipped away. It is possible there are details of his whereabouts on the computer. I suggest you hack into it. This should not be difficult. I am sure you are more than just a blood instrument. Damn it. Your hack has triggered an alarm. Unidad are attacking, but hold that position. You need to find your target's location. You have the details, so move fast. This snake does not want to be caught. No hay actividad en la última posición enemiga conocida. Comenzando la búsqueda. Target is in your sight. Good. Oh, wait. We're getting conflicting reports about who he is. Before you take him out, we need to know who this John Doe is. Hack their transmissions without them knowing, and keep this guy alive. You motherfuckers are supposed to be protecting me. The fuck do you think I'm doing? They know where I live. Well, here you are. Stay with me. I do not feel safe. Just me, Joe Santa Blanca, famous El Invisible. You will never feel safe. I curse the day I fix that PDA. I curse the day I find out who it belongs to, and I curse the day I came to your home. You should have come to us before you give the thing back. I told you, they had two tattooed Goliaths watching me the whole fucking time I was mending it. We've lost the download. What is this? It's the world's smallest violent playing just for you. <laughs> How long will I be in this safe house? Only for the rest of your life. The way things are going, that is not... I can't catch the stream. We got to you before the assassins, remember? I was just... The download stopped. It will not be so bad. They will give you cheap cocaine and much pornography. <laughs> I would prefer a new identity and a faraway place to live. They would still find you. Invisibly has contacts all over the world. If I had a new name, you would need a new face. Are you saying that we've lost the download? Cosmetic surgery. <laughs> if we can find you a no wig and a muscle statue, we'll I let him go. We'll never and see Mister Mysterious again. Let alone his PDA. Yep. Or do I have to make those my I like you. I will cut the hole. 
<laughs> you are efficient, mercenario. I am pleased with you. Keep a low profile. I will be in touch again soon. I ask of you two things, Mercenario, and you have twice been successful. I see that your sincerity is genuine and that your mythology is no exaggeration. You shall work for me, and it is time for us to meet face to face. Go to Chorillo's wood storage. Leave your weapons in the lockup you find there. I will come to you. For a relationship to blossom, trust is essential. Face to face, huh? What are the odds he's a dwarf in a white suit? Finally, El Invisible welcomes you into his inner circle. Meet him at the rendezvous point and follow the procedure. Or have you been taught to ignore such trivial pain? Where were you schooled? Langley? Campiri? The Point? It seems to me that you ghosts could use a little less training from the CIA and a little more from the actor's studio. Is it me you were after? Or my PDA? It doesn't matter now. We will both soon be out of your reach. I have enjoyed watching your progress, Spy. Very entertaining. As thanks, I will open the cell for you to give you one last try at catching El Invisible. Adios, colega. Zamuro's played you like a damn fiddle. Don't let that son of a bitch escape. I found him once. I will find him again.
what you see. With no cover, you better find your back. For every snake you've crossed since arriving in Bolivia, we'll come back and bite you. Ha, ah, Gringo. So I'm hearing that you are CIA in disguise. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone is very mad and wants you dead. Again? <laughs> Me though? I don't get that. But I have a very good idea. It has been my wish to get out of Bolivia for a very long time. Get away from crime and drugs in Santa Blanca. Always wanted to go somewhere free, where brave people are. Somewhere like, say, the United States. I think it should help me. Such a favor. The exact whereabouts of Zamuro. You give me Zamuro. I'll take you to the Statue of Liberty myself and whistle Dixie all the way. <laughs> that is too kind. But I plan to do much resting and fishing. All I ask is that you provide a helicopter to take me to America. And that I am granted full immunity. Of course, an immediate citizenship. <laughs> Invisible thinks he has the upper hand. He doesn't. We have one last card to play. Senor Sonrisa activated some of his contacts who activated some of theirs. Long story short, he can lead us to El Invisible and wants to make a deal. Meet him and see what he has to offer. I am very excited about becoming an American. It is true, I think, that there you can change yourself. One day you are very poor, the next day very rich, if you work hard, if you are an honest man. I also hear that there are many parties and fun to be had, but I also hear the opposite, that everyone carries guns because the cities are very mean and dangerous. That is why I am planning to live in the countryside. I will live in a big house with a white fence, and I am planning to marry and divorce several times. I believe that is the American way. Also, I will eat fast food for dinner every night. Burgers and fries and coke. Of course, then my teeth will become bad, which is not good. But luckily for me in America, I can get the beautiful teeth, yes? There, everyone has beautiful teeth. Senor Sanrisa will have a big white smile at long, long last. Way ticket, just in case you were thinking of coming back. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I will be very happy, and so will you be when you find Mr. Zamoro at his bunker in the Florida Oro region. Good luck, and as they say where I'm going. Sniper in the tower. <laughs> A 
I got a target carrying submachine guns. one with submachine guns. Got a target carrying submachine guns. Tango number three. Got a tango. That makes five. Aladdin has the lamp. Let's see what's hidden inside. Hold the party. That place is rigged with explosives. Get out fast.
Job well done, soldier. You got a room full of suits standing and applauding here. So get that damn thing back to us so we can do credit. If we're right, if that's the Murrow's logistics database, then stop the block and we'll be out of business by the end of the month. They've sure taken their time. Decoding, extraction, it's not easy. One mistake, we lose all the data. web unravels. We don't point fingers, we don't take sides or make excuses. What happened is not down to any individual, any team or policy. We were victim of a clever deception and could not have known the damage that this deception would cause. Sonrisa's or El Zamuro's real name is Jose Vargas. He had been planning this attack and his extraction for some time. The hacker, Regillo, arrested by the CIA prior to these events, was the deliberate catalyst. The information Regillo gave us about El Invisible and his PDA was false. What concerns us is that we found no evidence to suggest that Vargas was a natural enemy of the CIA. So the question remains, why us and why now? Vargas was estranged from his Chukisaka family and friends. He made a name for himself on the streets as the cunning but affable fence, Sonrisa. Later, he was confidentially recruited by Santa Blanca to control their smuggling network. But this El Invisible, as he became known, was never personally affected by CIA operations. One source suggested that during the recent drug wars, someone close to Vargas was killed by the DEA. The name Capullo de Rosa appears on several confessions we have obtained, but we can only speculate about this person's involvement in our story. What is clear, however, is that Vargas wanted to give up his position in the Santa Blanca hierarchy and used us to help him start a new life in America. Regrettably, a man with such skills at hiding his true identity has proved impossible to trace. My advice to you would be to learn from the unfortunate affair and put it all behind you. You listening, soldier? It's the news we've been waiting for. Jose Var Vargas has been located. Not the fortified penthouse some of us were expecting, but a small hut in rural Arizona, close to the Grand Canyon. Got some big fish in that river there. Well, it's time to catch this one. Take him out. Hook, line, and sinker.
time to die. It's just... Now you're not here. How's that for you? <laughs>